For today's Cyber CEO episode. Shell is very good at her job and what she does. She's very sweet. She does all my TC work. Whenever we have a contract come through, she takes it. She does intro letters. You know, she talks to the attorneys and through email and she's talking to the, sometimes the seller, sometimes the buyer. She's dealing with them more than I am. And that's what I need. So it gets me to be freer, which is super helpful. Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show. Sally, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Thank you very much for asking and for dropping by. I know you have a lot of things to do. So I really appreciate you being on the show. Now, start things off to let you know we have a lot of listeners who are business owners, just like yourself. So I need your help. Um, can you introduce yourself to our audience? Maybe we can start with something like, uh, what's your role in the business, Sally? So I am a single agent out of Spartanburg, South Carolina, um, working with Keller Williams. So that's that's who I am. Right. Now, um, how long have you been in the uh, real estate world? Been in the business since, 20, since 2018. 2018. So if my math is just around five years, going five years, probably. Going on five years. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now. How about working with someone virtual, like now with your cyber backer? Is this your first time? Yes. First time working with somebody virtual. Um, just I had an assistant in the past. They were, you could call it virtual. They were at home. Um, they And this is much better than what I had previously. So, Okay. Much better than what you had before. Much better. Now, um, how did you find out about cyber backer anyway? So there's some folks in my office that use you guys. Um, and so I found out about you that way first and then um, went to Family Reunion and saw, so I think it was either Family Reunion or Mega Camp One and saw it there as well. So yeah. Okay. So saw one of our there. booths then. One of the yes. booths. Ah. Yes. So you probably met one of those robots, those people on the screens with the mannequins. Is that right? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. Hey, it works. You know, whatever works, works. Yeah. Now, um, let's talk more about your experience with Cyberbacker. Then first thing that one of the first things that you had to do was go through the um, hiring process of the offer interviews. How did that experience go for you doing the interviews through Zoom? So they sent, you know, so many people my way. I think it was like five or so people. I have a Keller Williams coach, um, a MAPS coach. So um, I had her assist me in my choosing, but um, you watch these videos and you you learn about that particular cyber backer, and then you kind of just figure out which one you think is going to fit you the best. So that's that's it was pretty good, pretty good. You know, the video is really good. So, of course, it's like a taste of who you're going to be talking to in a few minutes, something like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, who you're going to be working with every day. So yeah, yes. So going into that, then, did you have a specific set of qualifications that you were looking for in a cyber backer? Yes, I needed someone that was a C. I am not a C. Um, and I needed somebody who could really just take it and run with it on their own. Like, obviously, I need to tell them how how it works and how I want it done. But then once once I've said that, you know, take it and run with it, learn our systems. And, and, and that way, I don't have to be so hands on. I can be more free. <laughs> okay, more free. Now, um, more free. Talk to me about your cyber backer. Then, how did you make the final decision to work with a specific cyber backer? So, mine actually came down to two different people um, out of the five or so that they sent me, and so I decided that. Well, with my coach's help, I decided on Michelle, um, who's been with me for a couple of months now. I can't remember how long now, but. Um, but yes, so with my my coach and myself and our brains put together, we we've decided on Michelle. So yes, that's how nice. I came to the decision. <laughs> so with the help of your coach, then gotcha. Okay, my coach has a lot of influence over me. Yes. <laughs> now let's talk more about Michelle. Then 
what are the tasks that you ask her to do every day? She does all my TC work. So whenever we, you know, have a contract come through, she takes it. She does intro letters. You know, she talks to the attorneys and through email and she's talking to the sometimes the seller, sometimes the buyer. I try to stay more personal with with that particular person. Um, but as far as attorney and lender and things like that, she's she's dealing with them more than I am. So which is super helpful. Okay, so um, I, you already mentioned that you've been working for a few months only with Michelle. Um, of course, her growth is not going to stop. Once you get to keep working with someone, they tend to grow and want to do more for the business. Correct. So yes. what are some of the new things that you got planned for, let's say, next few months from today? Well, we're working well with the new year. We're working on newsletter once a month and her putting that together. I used to use a different system for a newsletter for my, um, my database. And so we're putting that together and figuring out what that's going to look like. So that's something that's going to be new for her. Um, and also, gosh, I don't know. Like yesterday, I, I'm a, I sell real estate for the public. I flip homes and I also have investments amount. So I'm like a threefold person here. And I was in the road all day in the car with my business partner oh, going from God. house to house and just steady texting her, hey, do this, send this, do this. We we put another house under contract, my business partner and I, and she can send all that out. I don't have to be in front of my computer. I can be out doing what I need to do. So that was kind of new for her yesterday. But at the same time, she she knows how to do that stuff. So so, so she, was she took it. She exactly. took it and run with it then. Exactly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and that's what I need. So that's what I say. It gets me to be freer. So yes, of course, to be more free. Now, um, seems to me that you've already have a connection with your cyber backer, and not just b- because of the business. But um, talk to me about that. How do you create a successful partnership? With someone who's virtual, because for sure, some of our listeners might be going through this too. Um, first time working with someone virtual. You have to pick the right one and you have to pick the one that you make make a good connection with. You got to have a connection of some sort with them. So um, the connection we have is, is, is an understanding one. And my thing to her is if you have questions, ask. It takes me two seconds to text you back and, and give you the answer. You know, and if I don't have the answer, I'll get the answer. But yes. Just, you know, any and all questions, send them to me. And I think that relieves her to be able, she don't feel like she's bothering me. And then again, we're getting everything done in the process. So, but we have a good, we have a great connection. So, yeah. A good connection. Just engaging with your cyber backer as well, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You got to, you got to engage on a, on a daily basis with them. So, Yes. Yes, definitely agree with you there. Now, talk to me about, for example, what if there is something that was done by your cyber backer, but it's not what you wanted? How do you communicate that to someone who's virtual? Is it the same as like a person in the office or is it different? So in this case, sometimes, you know, there something's not done exactly the way I would do it. Mm-hmm. So what we do at that point is Zoom together, share our screen. I'll walk her through how I want it done and she follows suit. And it, it works great. So that doesn't happen often. Um, mm-hmm. But sharing the screen, zooming and zooming for when you first hire them, I, I felt like I needed to zoom with her each and every mm-hmm. day just to try and get her on track and in each transaction and, and involved. And mm-hmm. then, you know, sometimes you can you can draw back on some weeks, depending on how busy you are and mm-hmm. just zoom, you know, Tuesday and Thursday or, you know, whatever, just two days a week or something. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Like I did not zoom with her at all yesterday. I was in the car. So, yeah. yeah. So I think um, that Zoom, the, doing the Zoom with your cyber back, I think during the first part of the partnership is what you mentioned, doing it every day. I think that's very important as well because you're getting to you, getting used to working with each other because it's a new partnership. Yeah. It is. And then once you do get off to a good start, you can do it probably first of the month, mid month and end of the month. And then that way you stay on track throughout the month. And then the end of the month, you're looking obviously to the next month that's coming. So, you know, just keeping, keeping everybody on the same page. So Yes. Keeping everybody on the same page. Now um, we've been talking about your cyber backer for a while now, Michelle, and for sure she's going to be able to listen and watch this once we have this online. So um, we'd Yay. like to know, um, what do you like most about Michelle? What's the first thing that comes to mind when we talk about her? Michelle is very good at her job and what she does. Um, what I, She's very sweet. Um, believe it or not, I'm not as sweet as I might look. <laughs> she balances me out. Um, so that's really good. 
Uh, but I, I like Michelle because she she knows what she's doing. You know, she she just I think she might need at times a little more confidence than she has. But we're getting there. It's fine. We haven't been together that long, so but we'll 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 grow together. We're growing together. So I love that growing together, of course. And seems to me that you've already found your perfect cyberbacker in Michelle. We're very very excited to see where this partnership grows to for the next couple of months. And again. Sally, thank you very much for dropping by today. I had fun talking to you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website, www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.